uh, goosebumps uh, yeah. in the mixed zone. Um, you've worked so many years for this success. Tell us, what does it mean to you? It's, uh, it's a dream come true and it's uh, one of those moments in life where you just kind of see, see your life in uh, maybe fast forward or something. You can see the last two decades of what happened and how I got here and starting from competing on this course in, at World Juniors in 2000 and all of the World Cups I've skied here um, and the fact that the staff that's here today uh, that's waxing the skis, that's coaching, a lot of these staff members were there in, in uh, that first World Juniors competition in 2000. So um, it's extremely emotional uh, and just, again, it's just a dream come true. Uh, which race is tougher, the race uh, or the race after? <laughs> uh, for me, it, uh, the, the last 4K, toughest 4K in my life. Um, <laughs> I just kept telling myself, you have to keep going, have to keep going. And for sure, this is, uh, there's a lot of media and a lot of, um, a lot of interviews to do, but uh, at some point I'll go to sleep tonight and I'll sleep pretty good, I think. <laughs> that works? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, last question. Um, what does it mean to be a biathlon pro in the US and what does this success mean for biathlon in the US? Uh, biathlon is a growing sport in the United States. It's, uh, it went from being relatively unknown to now having you know, fans throughout the country that tune in to the, um, the weekly broadcast of the World Cup on the internet. So we have some, it's surprising, but we have some of the most uh, crazy and dedicated fans in the world, I think, um, because uh, what's different about being an American biathlete, uh, American biathlon fan is that you have to get up at four o'clock in the morning in most cases to watch the races. So these are people that get up in the middle of the night just to watch biathlon races that are happening halfway around the world. And um, so we have a good, uh, a good base of passionate biathlon fans and we have a growing um, number of youth biathletes in the country that are uh, you know getting involved in the sport new clubs coming online uh, I think we're seeing um, people gravitate to the sport um, like we haven't seen before so that's encouraging and I hope that this medal will um, elevate the presence of biathlon and elevate um, Uh, the, the appeal of biathlon for those 10-year-old uh, those youth biathletes that are out there uh, thinking about whether they should pick up the rifle and go train. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think uh, Donald Trump's knowledge about biathlon is like? Uh, if it's like his knowledge about most things, he probably doesn't know anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Let us ask from Ukrainian television a few questions. So it was a great day. It's an incredible story for for the sport. Uh, you ha you had a so and you have a so a big career. Last year you almost was ready to say goodbye to the sport. But as you said, it was your wife who assured you to continue. Yeah, um, yeah. I think we decided as a family that um, that I was going to continue. And um, for me, it's without their support, I, I wouldn't be able to do this, so um, I have her to thank. And now you are thinking about Penchcon too, yeah? About? Penchcon and Korean Olympics. At the Olympics, yeah. Yeah, yeah so we're um, obviously extremely happy with today. Uh, our team is um, has our focus on Pyeongchang, and I think we have uh, the strongest U.S. biathlon team that we've ever had. Uh, we have both on the men and the women's side of things. You can see that in the results and how we've done the last couple of years. So uh, we're extremely excited for Pyeongchang and hoping for big things. When we are talking about the team, so uh, it will be next, it will be really. So uh, we can expect uh, good performance. And of course, your partners uh, are now, after your victory, is uh, in good spirit, in good mood. Sure. Yeah, um, the relay has always been uh, a big focus for us. Uh, I think I said that um, 
earlier last week that we really are focused on this relay competition and um, I think we've we've come close to the medals uh, quite a few times so uh, we're hoping for good things this time around. As you revealed you are a musician besides of a biathlete so this victory is a good opportunity to write a new song? How do you think? <laughs> that's a, that's a great yeah <laughs> if there ever uh, ever some material to write a new song I think this would probably be it. <laughs> so you will call it? Uh, <laughs> It, it took two decades, but I finally made it. <laughs> and sometimes during the competition, you play on your guitar, or you live it in the U.S. Oh no, I I travel with. Uh, I have a little traveler guitar that I bring with me everywhere. And uh, um, lately, I've been playing a lot of children's music. But uh, yeah, I, I I take it everywhere with me. Will you play tonight? Uh, maybe if I ever get done doing interviews. <laughs> thank you. All right, thanks a lot. Sign a couple of tickets. Yeah.